Oh, Damn. Oh, shit. Now, from what I've been hearing and reviewing, looking at the fight again, and from going back on my own reactions from what I can remember from seeing the fight when it first happened. When Floyd wasn't throwing no punches, it was shocking to me. You feel what I'm saying? Even for him not to even throw, get him with a one good, you know what I'm saying? You know how he pop shot. He was, remember I was like, he ain't doing none of that shit. I know that nigga from something. Now, when they were saying that he, he probably... Got a dollar or something I could put it in? Go ahead. Nah, nah, I got it. I don't when they was, you. When they was saying he possibly could have dragged the fight on to the later rounds, right? I'm not going to say that I'm I'm all the way 100% with that, but I, but I kind of could get where they coming from, especially going off what like you just said. Like saying them. Yeah, especially going off what you just said with that UFC shit, because think about it. He ain't going to put his record on the line because he probably agreed, yeah, to drag the fight on. You feel what I'm saying? Because when you, if you, if you notice, the fifth or the fifth and sixth round, he he turned it up. It was either one of them two rounds to me. I started to notice he turned that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Especially with them right hands. And to me, but he said that was the game plan to he drag said, him. Yeah, he said. To the late game. Game. Which is cool. Though. Which is cool. Hold on. But he still Hello. Hello. Sure. Yeah, I'm on the parkway. I uh, come to you know the uh, Bob Pike, right? Yeah. Come to the Sonoma River Pike. Right by the Papa. Right by the Papa. By the Papa. It's by the uh, apartments over there. Yeah. Yeah. Right across yeah, from the Papa. Right oh, all right. I'm on my way. All right, go ahead. <coughs> now I was saying, I mean. You saying that he said that that was the game plan, which is cool. But in the beginning, to me, he was, you know, usually Floyd, he throw nice, powerful, precise punches. He wasn't doing none of that in the, in the beginning. But he said, he said he wanted him to shoot his load and get done. And once he seen that he was done, he, he said he thought it was going to be quicker, though. He said he tough. He said, man, my father thought he would go <clears> by <throat> six, by the sixth, seventh round. Yeah, but to me, it looked like he was being careful not to hurt that man. He wasn't doing, you know how Floyd usually, he, he's like, he's a counter puncher. You feel what I'm saying? So even if he not throwing a lot of punches, come no, on now. he said he owed the public for Pacquiao. He wasn't fighting defensive. He said, he said, that's where this, he said, everybody that knows me, I could have outboxed Conor McGregor to death tonight. Mm -hmm. You know me, made him miss <coughs> the counter. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. He said, I wanted to fight that way. I wanted the fight coming forward. But he ain't dumb. I got to let this white boy shoot his shit. Get mm -hmm. tired. He was hitting them hard, man. I think it Give was part. Of, put it in I think it could have been a part of the. Um, but it could have been like marketing you said, scheme. Marketing, yeah. You know, far you don't as, to far as the UFC, just like how you said, Conor McGregor. You don't want McGregor, to destroy the face of the UFC. Conor McGregor is 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 definitely. But one what of if the big Conor McGregor really did it naturally? Let's say Floyd didn't hold it over. Let's say Floyd didn't curry him. And Floyd, and Floyd really respect that nigga toughness. That's that's giving a lot of credit to McGregor though. What you think? I mean, based based on the fact if if it was all too much, no, nah, if it was all genuine fighting, yeah. And um, McGregor showed the fact that he came into a boxing world with the best boxer in the game. You know what I mean? And went rounds, the distance, not being as skillful. Listen, now, you could say that. McGregor put himself in a mid position. Yeah, he was tough. He, can do. he was tough. Now, fuck that but, up from a marketing standpoint. If that white boy can keep winning, he can make money history. And I'm going to tell you why. He can get big fights in the UFC. He can fight regular fights with people who see a boxing match with McGregor where don't have to do with no belts. He don't got to fight. A tough motherfucker, he could just, like, he could go fight Pauly. It's tricky for him, though. His next fight will have to be a win. That's what I'm getting at. And it's dangerous saying? for him because they said it's killers at the UFC waiting for him. Mm -hmm. And it's killers in boxing that want to knock him out worse than Floyd did. 
So I think he's he's happy about his money right now, and he want you know he wants to soak it all in right now because he knows that his next step is critical. You feel what I'm saying? So he definitely got to do some good. And he probably realized, damn, this is what Mayweather went through because. Boxers don't last that long in the money. Mayweather made all that money by keep winning. Mm -hmm. Some niggas get caught off after their third climb. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. McGregor got it set up where he could get Mayweather money, but is he going to be undefeated on that streak? No, he might lose his next fight. Now, you get what I'm saying? Ooh. McGregor. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But the money, it's like, it's like a, I get the greatness of it when you reach that level. It's like, look, you reach this level where the money is here. But you gotta win. And I think his best bet is to continue on with the UFC right now. Yeah. Pick his next fight as a UFC. Train boxing. Because if because I think he realized that it's a lot that he probably learned from boxing that he could use in the UFC. Hell yeah. As far as knocking them motherfuckers out, and getting it over keeping with. Keeping distance. Yeah, keeping distance. And knocking them out, getting it over with. Getting it over with. Because if you hit a motherfucker with a clean punch, most likely, you feel what I'm saying? It's hard to deal with that. And that's what the art of boxing is. You feel what I'm saying? I think he learned that. He gonna take that to the UFC. Now, as far as him fighting somebody uh, again with a big name in boxing, like leaning towards boxing, he got that. He got that. I think. I think nah, it ain't that's be a dangerous. Paulie Malignaggi. The dude Paulie, right? That's a beatable fight for him, <clears> though. <throat> Not disrespecting Paulie, but if May, if he went ten with Mayweather. Paulie don't got power like Mayweather. Mm -hmm. He has a better chance. He might get his ass out boxed, but he has a chance. And that's a big money fight for him because it's already a built-in. Mm -hmm. You know, Paulie knows what to do. Paulie, you see how Paulie planted his seeds. Mm -hmm. I like Paulie. Because it's money for him too. Paulie would have been a great. He would have. Imagine if he had a little bit of Pacquiao power. The way he talked. He could have been bigger than what he was. He just couldn't win the big fights. Yeah. But he's like a great B-level <clears throat> fighter. Yeah. Well, overall, you know, I believe they definitely is, you know, curious about still matching up some fighters with some of these boxers. Yeah. I mean, they, some, they some to, UFC yeah. fighters with some of these boxes. But see, once they get the UFC bigger, they're going to see if some boxers is willing to come over there to the UFC. UFC. Yeah, nah, nah, for real, for real, boxers don't need to do that. It ain't about that. It's really better if the UFC niggas can come. It don't need to mix it up. One of them is a combat danger sport and another one dangerous too, but it's more science in boxing. So I think they're going to use the UFC. Either way, once the UFC nigga come to boxing, it still promotes both sports. But you got, but you got to also take this into consideration with the UFC fighting. See, it's a science to it. It's just some of them motherfuckers got to tap into it because if it was a person like Bruce Lee around, you know what I'm saying, that was in his prime right now in the UFC fighting. He would show the motherfuckers some shit they never seen before. What the IP, man. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Because them niggas, because cause they can, they do all kind of fight. Martial arts, karate, jiu-jitsu, you know what I'm saying? Kung fu. So. See, my thing is, to get back on topic, if Al Heyman and them secretly is running the UFC. Where I'm going to put this up? Outside, baby. Let me do it. Look, let me do it again for you. Look. <laughs> One more time for you. Look. But uh, um, that was a hell of a marketing plan, son. Think about it, son. No matter what they say, that was a good put together event. Yeah, you know? I gotta give it to them. They promoted it. They didn't lie to us because everybody knew Floyd was gonna win, but they still made it entertaining. Mm. It brought people together. Money was made. Clubs got money, got paid. Sports bars got paid. Cable pay-per-view got paid. The UFC did good. So in my opinion, I think Floyd wouldn't. Fuck that. I, I can't trust them niggas. Floyd curried him.
Nah, 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 nah. He fought Floyd at the right time. Cause I do believe. I think he fought Floyd at a good time, but I don't think Floyd was as reserved. Like he was fighting too reserved to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I'm leaning more towards he probably could have carried it a little bit. You know what I mean? And he turned it up on him after a certain amount of rounds. And to me, that's when you have to build a fight on, okay, Conor McGregor's skills on that based on him turning up the fight. You know what I mean? Because, like you said, the UFC thing could have been involved far as them, you know, trying to promote the UFC. You know, bring more money to the UFC. But... You know, overall, I mean, I still believe definitely, you know, uh, Floyd chose that fight because he believed he's not the same fighter, just like he stated himself, you know what I'm saying? Hello? Hey, I hit you yesterday, but you ain't never answered or call me, call me back, call my man to text you. I know it was a bogus ass number, but I was trying to tell you that it was uh you could have got me or whatever. <clears throat> I mean, I was on my way home, but this hour. I'm um I'm at Howard University. If you want to get me today, I'm gonna be here for the next three days. Uh, what time you get off? Whenever you ready to get me, just get here. You're like, I right, text me something. Three. Text me something. Three. Text me. Huh? The address. You know my phone. Oh, you know my phone, huh? I'm uh, saying text me oh, from this oh, phone. Oh, let me. Oh, I got you. I got you. And stay by this you. phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. <clears throat> All right. Hey. Hey. Yeah. So I'm in. I'm. In, damn, I gotta get away real quick. I'm in the joint. I'm in the women dorm joint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, bro. Guess what? You yeah. you on the sport? You on the blunt rap sports TV saying that shit, baby? Say that again? Swear. Yeah, me and Preach was making a video about Mayweather and the, the recorders. Oh. <laughs> so the whole world know he at Howard University hey, y'all, in the Howard. female dog. They is like that. Hey, it's the best black, one of the most famous, best black colleges ever. Mm-hmm. It's so diverse. Shout out, out to world. women, too. You saying they some beautiful young women. Oh, yes. Oh, my beautiful black queen. The, beautiful, said beautiful uh, black Caucasian queen. queen, my beautiful Asian Shout queen. out to Howard Asian. University. Howard is doing it. Love That's a it. bet. But Love yeah, it. text me the shit though. I got you. Uh, Don't do that to me no more. <clears throat> hey, but yeah, this is another thing I wanted to say though. Like, in, in, That's what's fucking me up, man. In the boxing gym. That's fucking this up. <laughs> no, it's for real. Yeah, I don't know why we doing this shit. <laughs> like he why? Said, I don't know why are we blending it <laughs> with the tobacco? I used to think it was funnel, yeah. Nah, what was the other shit you wanted to say, though? I was saying... See, in the gym, they got a thing where when you spawn, you know, it could be another motherfucker in the, you know, in the ring that's more skillful than the other one. 